began one dark Saturday evening when I was woken by a storm. With eyes open, I lay in bed, trying to fall back asleep. The thunder is so loud; it's like someone is farting right into your ear. That's when I hear a strange noise coming from outside. At first, I thought it was the burrito I ate from yesterday, but then I realized it wasn't. Out of curiosity, I decide to get up. First, I check the windows in the back. As expected, I don't find anything out of the ordinary. Then I check the front windows. <gasps> oh no! I say out loud in panic. Something is on fire. Because every sane person talks to themselves when they're alone, I decide to go outside to check what in the hell is going on. I grab my trusty old sword just in case. When I finally get outside, I notice something that wasn't here the night before. What is all this? I ask myself. That's when I notice the pig doesn't have any eyes. I begin to question myself and if I'm not actually dreaming. That's when I notice the chest hanging on the back. Inside, I find a strange book, written by the librarian. It says, "Open at own risk." I wonder what is written in this book. I say to myself as I place the book in my inventory. Should I open it? I ask myself. What could go wrong, right? I conclude. Inside the book, I find a bunch of weird hieroglyphics which I cannot read. That's when I remember the author of the book, the librarian. I wonder who that is. I say to myself as I start walking towards the nearest village. When I arrive, I don't notice anything out of the ordinary. I'm here to look for the library, so that's exactly where I'm going. Once inside. I find a villager librarian. <gasps> I gasp because the villager has no eyes. I try to trade with the villager, but it's not working. Then I decide to give the book back to its respectful owner. To my surprise, he picks up the book and gives me a translated version. How to summon Herobrine? Huh? I read from the book. Go talk to the old man. Give him this book. He will further instruct you. Villagers self-destruct in five. Four, three, two, one, boom. What does that mean? Oh, I see. As I'm walking back to my house, I notice a strange building that I've never seen before. So I decide to go check it out. Ouch! When I finally arrive, I can't help but notice the weird architecture. Above the door is a sign that says "Old Man Joe." This must be where the book was referring to. I open the door and go inside. "Hello," I say to the old man's back. "Hello," says the old man. "I found a book which says I should give it to you. Here you go." "Oh, really? Let me see." "Okay, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah." "Let me grab something for my basement. Hold on," says the old man while he disappears into the floor. I can see his name tag moving up and around the house. All right, that's better. A lot more space on this side. So the book told me how to spawn Hero Brian. I want you to bring me twenty blocks of Hero Brian's blood. I have one here, and also twenty blocks of Hero Brian's soul, as seen here. Twenty blocks of Hero Brian's hair, as shown here, and lastly, twenty stones of diamond and emerald. You think you can do that? The old man says. Yeah, of course. I reply. All right, take this note. I want you to meet me at these coordinates at midnight. Bring the items and come alone. Understood? Mm-hmm. Good luck. I grab all the items the old man wanted from me, and I make my way over to the discussed location. When I finally arrive, it's already midnight. I don't see any signs of human life. Is anyone here? I say with a British accent to draw less attention. Oh hey, I see you made it. Did you come alone? Yes. All right. Are you sure no one followed you on the way here? 
Um, I think so, yeah. Okay, good. Do you have the items I asked for? Yeah. Alright, give them to me. Alright, here are the 20 diamonds, 20 emeralds, 20 redstone blocks, 20 gold blocks, and 20 coal blocks. Now, could you tell me what we are doing here? Yes, of course. Do you have any weapons on you? Yeah. Okay, I need you to give that to me. Okay. Alright, we can begin the procedure. Bitch, he just got wrecked! Thanks for the free stuff, you dumbass! Oh my god, I can't believe you fell for that. What a dumbass. See you later, nerd!